Hi everybody and welcome back to the Upside Dan. I was lucky enough to see a brand new thriller titled See For Me at the Jayabaka Film Festival 2021. What did I think of it? When blind former skier Sophie cat sits in a secluded mansion, three thieves invade for the hidden safe. Sophie's only defense is army veteran Kelly through an app called See For Me. Kelly helps Sophie defend herself against the invaders and survive. See For Me is directed by Randall Akita and written by Adam York and Tommy Gushu. This film stars Skylar Davenport, Jessica Parker Kennedy, and Kim Coates. See For Me is a new home invasion thriller. At this moment, it does not have a release date, but I was, like I said, I was lucky enough to see it at the Dribeca Film Festival this year. I am beyond happy that I did because I really thought that this movie was very well put together. Skylar Davenport as Sophie, she does such a great job portraying the character, but it also helps that they actually cast a visually impaired person in, in Davenport. She's actually visually impaired. So she plays this blind character in, to a T and it's amazing what she can do. Jessica Parker Kennedy also does a great job as Kelly. You know, she's helping her over an app. So there's a lot of, you know, talking, staring at a computer screen, but these two still have great chemistry together. Great back and forth. I absolutely love the dialogue between them. When there is downtime, I loved, you know, their, their character building, their emotional bond that they're forming. Of course, the bad guys, they're good too. Everyone in this film is good. The director and the writers really put in the work here. There are scenes that had me on the edge of my seat. I was afraid to breathe. My heart was beating rapidly. Any of those three, all of those three, whatever. It just was a great film. There were so many suspenseful scenes and they built the suspense up so well. It was a real craft here. I enjoyed my time really from start to finish. This is one of the best home invasion films, I think. And this secluded house is a character in of itself with, you know, an array of different hallways, doors, windows, you know, there's just a lot of places that these characters can go that Sophie can hide or, you know, sneak around the bad guys or the bad guys sneak around that way or this way. It's just a lot of different doors, a lot of different hallways. The location is just beautiful. This house is just beautiful. Like I said, it's a character of its own. This reminded me of like a, a kind of a don't breathe mixed with Hush on Netflix. If you haven't seen either of those films, they're really good. Go check them out. But it kind of reminded me of a mix of that, of those two with, a, you know, a few other things. But it was this was a great thriller, just an amazing thriller. It was, a, you know, I was thrilled um, and I thought it paid off. Like I, I really enjoyed the ending. You know, you had a really good setup for the story. I love the idea of a, a blind girl having to fend, her, fend for herself, you know, have to protect herself, protect the house, whatever, whatever, you know, and she has the help of someone, but they're on an app. There's that tension. <laughs> and obviously with electronics, you have to count on battery life on service. So there's that that kind of gets in the way as well at times. So there's a lot of different things that can get in the way. I just thought that that was just so spectacularly done. Now, as for negatives, I will say that our protagonist, Sophie, while Skylar Devonport plays her well, she isn't the most likable and relatable character. You know, she's kind of rude to almost everyone that she talks to in this film at first at first, so like as she gets to know Kelly more, yeah, she's nicer, but really everyone else that she's talking to for the first time, second time, whatever, she's not nice to them at all. And I'm not talking about the bad guys. Talk about like anyone else in this movie. It's it's off putting. I noticed it like right away. I was like, yeah, she's a little, you know, grumpy. <laughs> She's, I wish that they gave her something at least a little bit more that we could relate to, to gravitate us more towards this character and more towards us rooting for her to survive. And I still was rooting for her to survive. I wanted her to survive. I really liked her friendship with Kelly, but she definitely has some flaws and I'm not just talking about the uh, being the rude. There's other flaws that, that add to the intrigue in this film, you know, morally. Is she good morally? Is she bad morally? This film was very good at 
diverting our expectations because I didn't have any. I didn't know what to expect. It was almost like I was walking through this house not knowing what was around the corner, not knowing what was behind that door, not knowing what was behind that table, under that table, not knowing any of that. It was almost like I was there too. I didn't know what was going to happen next or where we were gonna go with these characters, with this house. And I really like that in a film when you can't guess what's going to happen next. Is she going to survive? Is she going to get out of there unscathed? You know, is she going to die? I did not know. <laughs> I think that this film pays off in the end. I enjoyed this film through and through. Like I said, a negative would be the character, the protagonist isn't the most likable and relatable. I wish that we learned more about Kelly, but I think that we learned enough to really like these two characters and their chemistry together. But overall, I say this is a definite watch. Check this out whenever this gets a wide release. Like I said, it's one of the greatest home invasion movies, one of my favorites, definitely. So if you want a thrilling, fun time at the theater or on demand, whatever they're gonna release this on, which I do hope that I get to see this on the big screen. Not that it's like, no, this is a must see on the big screen, but I don't know, this, this setting I think would be cool on the big screen and it'd be cool to be in a theater full of people wondering what's gonna happen next. So I do think this would be worth it on the big screen and I'm definitely going to see it again. But what would I give C for me? C for me gets a nine out of 10. That's a nine out of 10 from me. Are you interested in this home invasion thriller C for me? Let me know down in that comment section. Blow that comment section up. Are you excited for this movie? Have you seen it? Did you see it at the Tribeca Film Festival? Or is this way in the future and you, it's out already and you've seen it? Let me know down in that comment section, please. Blow up that comment section. If you've liked this video, you're going to like something else. So click around here to see something else. Please like this video comment on this video. Share this video with the movie fans in your life. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe and come to the Upside Dan.